it took my breath away for a second. Oh, like so genuinely, nice. I'm like. It, well, oh, it's it is zebra, zebra color, but zebra. it's kind of. So here's the inspiration. I'm beginning to hear her, yes. Bun. Um, no. Like. Welcome, Bizzuto family. It is another wonderful day in Washington, D.C. The cameras are fired up, social media is buzzing, and there is genuine excitement in the air. That can only mean one thing. It's time for the 2021 BMAs. Now, tonight is all about celebrating your devotion to your residents, clients, partners, and each other. And as such, I want you to sit back and relax because your only job tonight is to celebrate and be celebrated. You know, last year we had to postpone the in-person BMAs due to concerns surrounding COVID-19. And while that was difficult, it was the best decision to keep us safe. We may have missed the chance to be together to celebrate some amazing performances and accomplishments, but our team ultimately was able to put on an incredible virtual show. We've opted to stay with the virtual BMAs again this year to bring you another safe and exciting show. And while we can't hug or high five our nominees in person this year to celebrate their achievements, we can show them our support through social media. So submit photos and videos of your community's safe BMA celebration on social media using the hashtags Hashtag Bizzuto BMA 2021 and hashtag Bizzuto Proud. Now, in addition to posting on social media, be sure to check out a brand new addition to tonight's show, the BMA Virtual Photo Booth. Scan the QR code that you're seeing on screen and upload your photo. Later on, during the post show, we're gonna reveal a kaleidoscope of images showing just how large and special our Bizzuto family is. We'll be highlighting photos from social media and the virtual photo booth. So you might make a special appearance in our live post show. Now, let's get tonight started with our awards patrol. Traditionally, this is something we celebrate in advance of the BMAs. But this year, we decided to make the next three award categories part of our pre-show. To kick off the awards patrol, let's celebrate the winners of community service. This award recognizes properties that help build the communities around them through service. They've made it their goal to help others overcome obstacles to build stronger, healthier, and safer communities. Twelve thirteen Walnut. 450K. Element 1. The Elm. Left Bank. Marius at Botanica. The Octagon. The Whitmer. Congratulations to our community service winners. Next up, as part of the awards patrol, we have our spotlight on social media. Now, during our post show, which I know you're sticking around for, we'll be highlighting properties and individuals through our social media digital board. So be sure to share how you're watching tonight's program. 
Post your photos on Instagram using the hashtags BizzutoBMA2021 and hashtag BizzutoProud or upload them via the QR code on the screen. Now, let's take a look at those eight winning properties of this year's Social Media Award. I certainly expect to see them using their social media skills during tonight's program. Fifty two fifty Park at Downtown Door. The Capitol. The Clark. The Fitzgerald. The Kelvin. The Lindley. Marielle Marina Bay, 111. Congratulations to our social media winners. And now let's recognize our team spirit winners. You know, Bizzuto cherishes the relationships we have with one another, as well as the ones we share with our residents. The team spirit award is for those properties whose entire teams have consistently shown exceptional teamwork and camaraderie in the spirit of making both the best living environment for our residents and working environment for our associates. Congratulations to this year's Team Spirit winners. Central. City Market at O and 880P. The Harvey. Milagro Coral Gables. The Park. The Shelby. Spinnaker Bay and Promenade. Two West. At Bizzuto, we're honored to have phenomenal partners and sponsors who make this an extraordinary event. Throughout the rest of the pre-show, you'll hear from our gold sponsors who've helped make the BMAs possible. We value your partnership and thank you for all of your support. Roland has been proud to serve the Mid-Atlantic region for over 40 years, and we continue to be your partner under a new name. As First Onsite, we will support you in times of crisis with expanded resources and a robust support system that will provide the best service possible. Our name may be different, but our commitment to you remains the same. Roland is now First Onsite. Our next award highlights the top sales achievers in the company for 2020. These individuals had the best sales performance for communities under 450 units. Angela Brunner, Anthem House. Jade Lambert, Concord Crystal City. Nicholas Capice, New Village at Patchall. Robin Segura, The Sudbury. Sean Riley, Halstead Station. And the winner and outstanding top sales achiever with an amazing 132 leases in 2020 is Nicholas Capice, New Village at Patchaw. Now let's take a look at the best sales performance for lease-ups and properties over 450 units.
Catherine Hollingsworth, Flats 130 at Constitution Square. Keith Stewart, The Wellington. Mason Hopkins, Falls Green. Owen Ocella, Falls Green. Fung Mac, The Park. And the winner, a remarkable high velocity sales achiever with 154 leases in 2020 is Catherine Hollingsworth, Flats 130 at Constitution Square. Congratulations again to our outstanding top sales winner, Nicholas Capice, and outstanding high velocity sales winner, Catherine Hollingsworth. Let's take a quick break and hear from a few more of our gold sponsors. For Bizzuto, when it comes to touring, it's all about building trust with that customer, and so video has a lot of to do that. Sending the videos before the tour, or a thank you, or a meet the team after the tour, using them for the tour itself. It's just given us a lot of opportunity and ways to make our teams more efficient and to get in front of those residents at a larger scale. There's so many different options out there for video, but what's great about Reallink is that it's very technologically sophisticated with getting that data so we get that ROI. The next two awards that I'm honored to present are Rising Star Maintenance and Rising Star Management. Rising Star Maintenance recognizes someone who has exceeded the expectations of their position, helping out at other properties, giving back to their communities through service, and performing exceptionally well in their role. They have either recently been promoted or certainly show potential to take the next step in their career. And the nominees are. Angel Ponce, Vantage. Cesar Lopez, Geo Midtown. Cody Jackson, The Vine. Christian Martinez. The Modern at Art Place. Kenny Presenol, One Greenway. Mario Mendoza, The Apartments at Harbor Park. Vicki Griffith, The Porter Del Rey. And the winner is Cody Jackson, The Vine. Congratulations, Cody. Rising Star Management recognizes those same qualities we just discussed, but for an individual working in the office. Someone who has gone above and beyond to make their community sanctuary. And the nominees are Amy Parada, the beacon of Groveton. Chris Gibson, flats at Bethesda Avenue. Christina Baez, the district, Boynton Beach. Eric Zadanowski, the Anchorage. Kylie Keller, Oriana. Lauren Burton, Luminary at One Light. Marissa Finzel, Two West. Maddie Wellerson, 
Novel South Capital. And the winner is Amy Parada, the beacon of Groveton. Congratulations again to all of our nominees and winners. Now, as we get ready for the main show to begin, I want to thank all of our gold sponsors. Apartment Geofencing, Checkpoint ID, Butterfly MX, Gallagher, Avelius and Jones, HD Supply, First On Site, Town and Country Movers Incorporated, Carpet and Wood Floor Liquidators, and Real Link. Your partnership and the partnership of all of our sponsors not only makes tonight possible, but also helps to make our promise to create sanctuary for our residents a reality. We value you and we thank you. Imagine being able to show a commercial on TV to someone at a competitor or after they visit your apartment website, then being able to know how many of them come to your apartment or submit a lead online. It's possible and affordable. We've shown over 500,000 commercials this year for Bazuto Properties, generating more than 1,000 walk-ins and 500 website leads. Contact Matthew to learn more. Apartmentgeofencing.com. Town & Country Movers is honored to be a strategic partner with Bazuto. Each company shares a core set of values hoping to enrich the customer experience throughout the DMV and beyond. Through our move management and white glove move service, we help Bazuto residents make the seamless transition into their new home by not just moving their items, but preparing their new home for a memorable and stress-free living experience. As a family-owned business since 1977, our motto, let our family move your family, helps us focus on what matters most, our customers. Thank you all for tuning in to our BMA pre-show. We'll see you back here in a few minutes for our main show, hosted by Bazuto Management Company President Stephanie Williams. And be sure to stick around for the post-show immediately following the BMAs. I'll have the pleasure of speaking with winners from around the country, checking in on a few properties, and spotlighting your social media posts. So don't forget to use the hashtags BazutoBMA2021 and hashtag BazutoProud for your social media posts tonight. We can't wait to see how you're safely celebrating. Thank you and see you all very soon. Now let the countdown begin. means affecting positive change for our residents and our team members through communication and collaboration in order to create one community. One Bazuto really is about teamwork. The maintenance team, the office team, it doesn't matter. We're all work together for one common goal. We also feel that all Bazuto helps support us in our mission and that really feels great. One Visito means trust and collaboration. Our team trusts each other and our residents trust that we're doing everything that we can to create sanctuary here for them. One Visito means one community. One Bazuto to me means that no one is above anybody else's job responsibilities. We should all be ready to pitch in and help our team members out whenever necessary. 
One bazudo means that while we are many different people spread out over the country and in different roles, everything we do and stand for is unified with our core values at heart guiding us. One bazudo means family. We help each other out through the hard times, we support each other, and we succeed together as one. One Bazuda for me is a promise. It's a promise that no matter who you are, where you came from, what your circumstances are, there is an army of people willing to stand up and have your back. To provide you the manpower, the knowledge, the motivation to move forward in a positive way for your peers and for our residents. The vision of One Bazuda means One win means we all win. One Bazuna means fostering partnerships within our community to help those in need and creating extraordinary experiences for our residents, colleagues, and customers. One Bazuto means to me unity, comfort, safety, where your colleagues become your family. As Tom and Toby Bazudo say, we're family taking care of family. As one Bazudo, we work together towards a common goal of creating sanctuary for our residents, team members, and partners. One Bazudo family is coming together for the success and service of all Bazudo and lending a hand and taking a lending hand to it. From our family to your family. One Bazudo means... One family. One goal. One team. And one home. Bazudo one means family. One Bazudo means you are not only working with people who actively curate a deep sense of community for others, but with people who mindfully cultivate this sense amongst their colleagues by building strong benches and seeking creative collaboration. The vision of One Bazudo means affecting positive change for our residents and our team members through communication and collaboration in order to create one community. The Metropolitan team believes that our commitment to creating community using the One Bazudo mentality kept the focus strong in 2020. Consistently displaying that Bazudo DNA during limited exposure kept our family of residents here and helped new residents call it home. Jennifer Livingston's leadership was the catalyst and I hope to be able to continue in her footsteps in 2021. The vision of One Bazudo means to me working as a team effectively and communicating and also accomplishing all set goals and tasks. 
Also, those are the employees satisfying the resident requests in a timely manner. One Bazudo is a company culture that strives towards being a paradigm of what is right. We accomplish this by leading with kindness, inclusion, compassion, and respect for one another and the families that we serve. One Bazudo vision to me represents the core values being exemplified across every single Bazudo community. This, I believe, is a direct result of the culture that is created by our leadership. One Bazudo to me means that although we all have different job functions, uh, whether it be maintenance, leasing, or concierge, we all come together to do what's best for our residents. What One Bazudo means to me, it means rallying around the residents and not just the residents, each other in the hard times. Um, New York was hit hard this last year, and by us working together, we really made it through. What One Bazudo means unity in the Bazudo family. One Bazudo means to me, uh, all of us together, one company, learning from each other and growing together. What's the vision of One Bazudo mean to you? A family serving families. Diversity and inclusion. Opportunity. One Bazudo means we grow and advance together. The vision of One Bazudo means everyone coming together to create extraordinary experiences in everything we do. To me, seeing my team come together and doing that throughout a pandemic was my favorite part of 2020. We as a company must support and encourage each other to be the better versions of ourselves today than yesterday because our personal growth means growth for the company and growth for our colleagues. The vision of Juan Bezito means everyone coming together to create extraordinary experiences in everything we do. To me, seeing my team come together and doing that throughout a pandemic was my favorite part of 2020. One Bazudo to us means nurturing and supporting a diverse working environment, so in turn, we can create sanctuary for our residents. One Bazudo is teamwork. When every team member is doing their best, the property shines, and when each property does their best, Bazudo as a whole company is successful. The vision of One Bazudo means friend family. Although we all come from different backgrounds and experiences, we have the same purpose. We support each other in achieving our goals and expectations as individuals and a team.
Good afternoon, Bizzuto family, and welcome to the 2021 BMAs. For the second year in a row, we come to you live in studio from our nation's capital, Washington, D.C. While we are not gathered in person, it's magical experience to celebrate all you've accomplished as a team over the past year. A year which provided challenges that allowed us to be resilient and to remain connected through our passion for one another and our mission. So today, while still in a largely virtual world, we recognize the rich kaleidoscope of perspectives and talent that allowed us to grow stronger with deepened relationships and poised to thrive. Together, we have built a forward momentum worth celebrating. That is why today is all about you. And I offer my most heartfelt congratulations to all of our BMA nominees and winners. Now, I'm sure like me, many of you have spent time on many a Zoom meeting over the past 18 months. And you probably use the clever and creative virtual backgrounds that were designed by our Brazuto marketing team. Well, today, we wanted to bring some of those backgrounds to life. Like this living room background. Does it look familiar? I use this one plenty, and I have to say it's pretty neat to see it brought to life. Before we jump in, I want to welcome our esteemed clients and partners. Amid the challenges we've endured together over the past year and a half, we are truly grateful for your shared devotion to creating sanctuary. You've been with us every step of the way, and we appreciate you. Thank you for joining us. I'd also like to welcome our BMA sponsors, who remain generous and supportive as we've modified our awards program. Today, would not be possible without you. And we're thrilled to have you here to celebrate with us. As I mentioned earlier, today is our second virtual BMA celebration. It's exciting to know that I'm joined with so many talented team members from across the country, from California to New York to Florida. Your hard work, experiences, and perspectives makes us stronger. We are a company that welcomes all a family truly serving family. It's often mentioned how trying the last 18 months have been. We've been made to weather a storm unfamiliar to all of us, and that's just in reference to a global pandemic. Beyond that, we've endured social unrest, heightened racial discourse, and highly contested election outcomes. And yet together, through it all, we stand. Every day, you have remained steadfast in your commitment to sanctuary. I have received countless messages from residents, some who have written to share the extraordinary losses they've endured, and yet their message to me is gratitude. While many things in their lives have changed, people they depended on left them. Bazudo has been there. Now, these are their words, not mine. So while today we gather to present awards to a select few, I want to pause and recognize each and every one of you for your commitment, your empathy, your compassion, your loyalty, your unwavering deep devotion to our mission. For this, we honor and celebrate you. In the spirit of celebration, connection is essential today. So please share your BMA moments on social media using hashtag Bizzuto BMA 2021 and hashtag Bizzuto Proud, so we can share in your joy and enthusiasm. Also, use the QR code on screen to take you to our interactive photo booth and keep an eye on our social media mosaic to see how your colleagues are celebrating. I can't wait to see all the virtual celebrations taking place today. We are collecting all of your posts on Instagram to create a beautiful mosaic, and throughout the night, we'll be checking in to see how the mosaic evolves. And lastly, don't forget to show off the special BMA celebration boxes that were sent to your communities. Have fun with them. Today would not be possible without the tireless efforts of many, frankly, too many to call by name. Yet I do want to simply say thank you to you for your relentless effort to make today special for all of us. So, shall we get started hearing from one of Bazuto's finest? So here I am in the heart of a Bazuto apartment building, in the lobby, 
with the now ever-present plexiglass, where I'm thrilled to introduce someone whose dedication to our core values and mission to create sanctuary never fails to inspire us. Bazzuto chairman and co-founder, Tom Bazzuto. Thank you for that kind introduction. It is always a privilege to speak with you at our annual Management Award celebration. Like each of you, I wish we could be together in person, but once again this year, for health reasons, we have to be doing this virtually. This program, as it is every year, is about you. It is to thank you for everything you do and have done for our residents, for our partners, and our clients, for each other, and for the company through the past year. And it is to congratulate you for your exceptional achievements. On behalf of my partners, I want to tell you how grateful we are for your efforts to create sanctuary for our residents. Thank you. Thank you very, very, very much. When people start a business, they come at it in different ways. Some focus on their product, some on technology, some on strategy. Frankly, some just on making money. Our focus was, has been, and is our culture. In our company, culture is absolutely paramount. We decided that we would build a company defined by a culture built upon two elements, good people, nice people, kind people, sincere people, and shared values. As to the first, we knew that it is much easier to hire nice people and teach them skills than to hire skilled people and try to teach them to be nice. And to the second, we worked very hard to define and communicate our values. You all know them, concern, creativity, passion, and perfection. That's who we are. Nice people who are guided first and foremost by genuine concern for our residents and those with whom and for whom we work. We are people who are creative and thoughtful about what we do, people who bring passion to work every day, and we are people who insist on doing what we do better than anyone could possibly do it. Because people are the single most important asset of this company, I have tried to spend a day a week, every week, for 30 some odd years visiting you who work on site. I do it to let you know that we understand and appreciate how important you are. We understand that it is through you that our company is known, and because of you that we have prospered and grown. It is you who truly create sanctuary for our residents. You who create this something special at our property, something different, something not found at other apartment communities. It is through your commitment to our values, your kindness, your empathy, your attention to detail, and your fundamental integrity that we at Bazuto offer this something special to our residents, this thing we call sanctuary. And the greatest recognition of the sanctuary you create is in the repeated recognition of Bazuto as the top property management company in the country. Seven years in a row, that's absolutely extraordinary. If we were all together, I would ask that you stand up so I could applaud you. Instead, you just have to accept my heartiest congratulations. This is not an honor to take lightly. I know how much work goes into getting these high online reputation scores. You should be very, very proud. I am. But while seven years as the best in the country is great, I'm here to tell you it is not great enough. Eight would be even better. And I understand that there will be more to come about this later in the program. 
So stay tuned, and again, thank you. We are collectively living through an extraordinarily turbulent period in history. Enduring everything from a global pandemic to natural disasters to deep political divisions. It is essential to keep all that in mind when dealing with our residents, clients, and partners. As you all know, a little kindness goes very far. And as for these troubled times, I know we are all eager for a return to normalcy. But trust me, with patience, persistence, and a continuing commitment to our values, we will. I told you last year that just as our nation has come through periods of conflict, illness, and tragedy before, we will come through again. We will. In the meantime, continue to be strong and bring your best self, bring your kindness to work each day. Thank you again for making our company extraordinary. Thank you for what you do each day and congratulations to each of you. From my perspective, you are all award winners. Thank you very, very much. I always love hearing words of wisdom from Tom. I'm sure you do too. Now, I'm delighted to introduce the man who continues to guide us with his vision of kindness and equity, a man truly dedicated to creating sanctuary. Please join me in welcoming our Chief Executive Officer, Toby Bazzuto. Hello, everyone. I want to thank you all for tuning in to celebrate our second virtual BMAs. While I wish we could all gather in person, I'm grateful that we can still connect in some way to celebrate your many accomplishments. I am filled with pride, awe, and joy over the resilience and strength that you have shown during the past year and a half. Your devotion to your colleagues, residents, and clients is extraordinary and truly brings our mission to life. You understand the value of compassion and inclusion at every level of our company. I am grateful for everything that you've done your work has made a difference in the lives of our residents, partners, and clients. What we do as a Bizzuto family matters. Together, we are making the world a better place by creating sanctuary for those we serve. During the program, please take a moment to reflect on each nominee and winner that is named. While we're always striving to do better, to improve ourselves as individuals and as a company, it's important to recognize how far we've come each day we are presented with new opportunities to continue elevating our daily work and build upon the culture of kindness that we cherish. There is no challenge that we can't overcome together. I ask you to join me as one Bazzuto to commit to kindness. I ask you to commit to becoming as equitable and as welcoming as possible, opening your minds and hearts to a diversity of people, experiences, and perspectives. And I ask you to please remember that above all, we are a family serving family. Congratulations again on everything that you've accomplished and for everything you do to make our company extraordinary. Thank you, Toby. We appreciate and are inspired by your commitment to building on our culture of kindness. Now, let's get our first started award. As you remember from last year, we will reference FOCUS many times over the course of the program. FOCUS is an acronym that represents how we assess and evaluate performance, which includes financial performance, online reputation, career pathing and team development, upholding properties and central plant maintenance, and finally, service excellence. With that in mind, here is our first award. The and last faces you often see at a community, our resident concierges make the essential first impression. They are critical to our mission to create sanctuary, taking special care to fulfill and exceed the needs of our residents and guests. 
Our nominees for Resident Concierge of the Year were judged on having the highest focus scores and being with Bizzuto for one year. And the nominees for Resident Concierge of the Year are Daryl Howard, 1331. Isha George, Park Lane Seaport. Igla Yaya, Geo Midtown. Keith Conquest, The Banks. Micheline Colberry, 4040 Wilson. Ralph Romaine, Quinn. Samuel Wyan, The Sinclair. Vicki Shelsby, Mariner Bay at Annapolis Town Center. Okay, so before we announce this year's winner of Resident Concierge, we're going to hear from all of our nominees in this category. In keeping with the theme of today's program, which is focused on our rich diversity and experiences and perspectives, we spoke to a few different award nominees to hear firsthand what a nomination for a BMA means to them. Now, let's hear from our resident concierge nominees. My job is my passion. It's, it's what I love. It's what I want to do. It's what I've chosen to do. I don't really expect a lot of people to understand that. This nomination reminds me that people are watching, people do recognize, people are paying attention, and that's just enough for me. And this nomination reminds us that we did a good job. We're doing a great job, and for us, that's all we need. So why is this nomination so important to me? Well, it represents family. Last year when we all received the news that we were entering a worldwide pandemic, I at the time was six months pregnant with my first child. It was then immediately I thought of my unborn child and her safety, but also my commitment and responsibility to my community as well as my team. We were all unsure at that time as to when or how this would end and how it would affect everyone, but we knew that we had to be engaging and we knew we had to serve a community. Unsure of a lot of the roadblocks and challenges that we were going to have to face and overcome, I'm proud to say that my team, our site, we rallied together, we stepped up. It truly helped me to understand that we are family taking care of family. Being recognized is a reflection of what I bring to the team, property, and residents. I'm truly honored to receive the nomination because my main focus is having a positive impact with everyone I interact with every single day. So what does it mean to me being nominated for Resident Concierge of the Year Award? You know, it's been a difficult year for all of us, um, but especially difficult for our residents. Um, and the one constant that they've had through all this is us, you know, myself, my team, and just us being there every day for them with a smile on our faces. I am honored to be included in the Bazudo Management Awards Resident Concierge of the Year nominations. To me, being nominated for this award means that my team and I have done an excellent job of connecting with our amazing residents and creating sanctuary. First and foremost, I want to thank Bazudo for nominating me for the Resident Concierge of the Year Award. It's unbelievable. This nomination means a lot to me because it goes to show that hard work does not go unnoticed. I'm blessed to work with such a great team at Lennox and Quinn. It's such a great deal of success for my team to see me nominated with such an award. What a wonderful surprise, Lennox and Quinn. Thanks again. This nomination means a lot to me personally, but it doesn't mean that I was the best, brightest, or hardest worker. The fact that I was nominated signifies that I made it a top priority to be there when my team needed me. That drive to help my team succeed under any circumstance has been foundational to my career with Bizzuto. I am honored that my efforts are being celebrated now among my peers. To be nominated for Concierge of the Year is an outstanding surprise and honor. This recognition is motivating and humbling, a reminder that the work I do matters 
However, I wouldn't be where I am today if not for my incredible teammates. I agree with Tom. As far as I'm concerned, everyone is a winner. I'm looking forward to hearing more from nominees throughout today's program. But now, let's move on and announce the winner of Resident Concierge. I'm sure you're all on the edge of your seats. And the winner is Isha George, Park Lane Seaport. We understand that listening to our residents' feedback helps us continue to improve. As such, the Residence Choice Award is determined by the Jay Turner and Kingsley rankings of our residence reviews and survey responses. And the nominees for Residence Choice are nine oh nine. 1305 Dock Street. The Capitol. District. Flats 8300. Lennox and Quinn. Metro 303. Millstone at Kingsview. And the winner is Lennox and Quinn. Today wouldn't be possible without our very generous partner level sponsors, Blooming Bubbles, The Guarantors, and The Minkoff Company. Throughout the program, you will hear from each of them, starting first with Blooming Bubbles, a wonderful partner to us and a fellow family company. Joining us for this year's BMAs is Ernesto Pineda, the Director of Strategic Partnerships for Blooming Bubbles. Let's hear from Ernesto. All of us at Blooming Bubbles Cleaning are so honored to be a part of the BMAs again. We truly value celebrating all of the hard work of our Bazudo family that we get to see and be a part of every day. I think it's fair to say it's been a rocky 18 months in the world and we're just so grateful for the camaraderie and partnership we've experienced throughout this time with everyone here at Vazuto. On behalf of the entire Blooming Bubbles family, a big congratulations to everyone. Thank you for all of that you do, and we look forward to seeing everyone again, hopefully in the near future, when it is safe. residents are working harder than ever with less time available to maintain a clean living space. Blooming Bubbles Cleaning removes the hassle from apartment cleaning, freeing up time and energy for them to do what matters most. We are a woman-owned business offering luxury apartment home cleaning services in the Washington, D.C. metro area. Our shared set of core values with Bozudo ensures an extraordinary resident experience from start to finish. Add us to your housekeeping referral list at no cost to you. We guarantee our work and do not need any storage space at your property, nor do we require a complicated keys release. We make it easy for your team to refer to us with confidence. Trusted already by dozens of Bozudo communities. Sign up today. Email us at contact at bloomingbubblescleaning.com. Our sincere thanks to Ernesto and the entire team at Blooming Bubbles for your continued support. Now, I would like to take a moment to congratulate you on something that brings me so much pride. Our number one aura ranking. This year, all of our teams are winners. I can't tell you how proud I am of each of you for such an extraordinary job well done. Getting this distinction for seven years in a row is a testament to the strength and passion of our teams. Congratulations to all of the communities that you see scrolling on the screen. They scored 90 or above when Aura data was finalized back in April, not only making the Bazuda Aura honor roll, but also helping to solidify our portfolio's overall performance. Simply amazing. 
Each of you will receive an email with a token of our appreciation for your unwavering commitment to those we serve. Please be sure to keep an eye out for it. Now, in true Bizzuto tradition, I'd like to ring the bell in celebration of such an outstanding recognition. Your commitment to a culture of kindness and to creating sanctuary for those we serve continues to earn you the number one national position. For that, we ring the bell. Now, promise me that you'll ring your bell together within the next 24 hours with your team. Each one of you deserves to celebrate. As you know, every year we create a new Aura campaign to keep us focused on care and concern for our customers and maintaining our number one position. I'm pleased to tell you that we have a great new campaign just ready to go. Stay tuned for our post show where we announce the winners and the mastermind behind the new tag. As you may have seen in the recent reputation update, we have competitors who have caught up Yes, a big old target remains on our back. Now more than ever, we need to keep the attention and momentum for two reasons. First, our brand has a stellar reputation for white glove, high quality service and kindness. Second, this is our spot. We have been number one for seven years and we plan to stay here. Congratulations again. I'm excited to work with you on bringing home our eighth or a title. Four sixty five North Park, seven seventy seven Courts of Devon, Dalian on the Park, the Kensington. Left Bank, the Sinclair, Woodfall Greens. Asking our residents for feedback is important for our communities, as is taking time to consider and respond to it. Tom Bizzuto reminds us to take time to write our residents back when they take the time to write to us. Each of the nominees for the Ratings and Reviews Award performed exceptionally well, maintaining an aura score of 80 or above, receiving a minimum of four reviews per week and responding to 95% of their reviews. This year's winner, had an average aura score of 97.5. And the winner of the Ratings and Reviews Award goes to Courts of Devon. As you know, earlier this year, we announced that we were expanding our presence to the West Coast, my home. We knew from our experience entering new markets in the past that we would need an exceptional team to lead our efforts. It's my distinct pleasure to introduce two of our West Coast leaders, Managing Director of Client Services, Heather Wallace, and Regional Vice President of Operations, Sarah Malone. Together with their teams, these two women have worked tirelessly, along with several others, to bring the Bizzuto experience to California in Washington. And guess what? There's more to come. Heather, Sarah, thank you for joining us today. Thank you so much, Stephanie. We are delighted to be here. Not only is this my first BMA celebration, but it's also our first program on the West Coast where our team will participate. We are thrilled to have the opportunity to celebrate our team and talk about how much being a part of the Bizzuto family means to us. That's right, Heather. Many have said it before, and I'm sure many will say it after, but there is just something special about this company and its people. From the core values we all share to the beautiful communities we build and manage, we are truly a family-serving family. It feels amazing to be able to create sanctuary together with some truly inspirational people. We offer our congratulations to 
all the BMA nominees and winners, and we hope you know how extraordinary you are. Stephanie, back, back to you. Thanks, Heather and Sarah. I want to take some time to thank all of our team members who've helped facilitate property transitions, renovations, and dispositions. While these are necessary elements of our business, we know that they can be challenging, and we appreciate your professionalism and integrity. So whether we're saying hello or goodbye, thank you for helping drive revenue while creating extraordinary experiences. Now, please welcome my friend, Managing Director of Operations, Nancy Goldsmith. This past year has been unlike any other and impacted us all in different ways and we've all had to adapt to our changing world. For example, our five-star walks had to be completely reimagined. Our five-star award will now be known as the Bazuto Standards BMA to showcase what our teams do every day to take an ordinary experience and make it an extraordinary one. And the winners are... 1331. Avelia. Stallion on the Park, Falls Green, 111, The Residences at Eastern Market, 2020, Vantage. Congratulations to these communities on a job exceptionally well done. I'd now like to introduce my other friend, Managing Director of Operations, JoLynn Scotch. We believe that a lease-up community is an opportunity to create something extraordinary from the ground up. The following communities showed us that even during a pandemic, creating sanctuary was more important than ever. During 2020, they achieved stabilization and performed exceptionally well with both pace and rate. And the nominees for the Lease Up of the Year are... Arcadia Run. The Berkeley. Monarch. Woodfall Greens. And the winner is... Woodfall Greens. Chad, Chad, we can't hear you. Chad, you're on mute. Unmute yourself. The microphone button in the corner. There we go. There's always that one person during the meeting. What I was saying was congratulations to Woodfall Greens. Stephanie, Julie, are you both enjoying this afternoon's program? Oh, yes, absolutely. Yes, I love it. Well, while I've been here in the library, I've been checking out these books on the shelves and there's a ton I'd like to read. I should write them down, but of course, I forgot a pen. Oh, Chad, hold on, I have one. Well, I guess that's what you call TV magic. Hmm? Well, now, we've, now that we've finished our Zoom meeting, Chad, can you please get back to the program? I'm on it, Julie. And I'll see you both later on. You know, but before we move forward, I'd like to go back and take a moment to hear from the nominees of the Lease Up of the Year Award on what one bazudo means to them. Hello, we are Arcadia Run, and we are extremely honored to be nominated for Lease Up of the Year. Being nominated shows that every member of our team exemplified Bazudo's core values even in the middle of a pandemic. Our leasing team demonstrated creativity and concern, coming up with ways to conduct contactless tours and movement, and making sure residents' needs were met even when we were not on site. Our maintenance team demonstrated passion and perfection, creating sanctuary for every one of our new residents. We are grateful to Bazudo for recognizing our accomplishments through this past year, and we will continue to strive for success. Wow, 
This is such an honor to be nominated for Lisa of the Year. Many of my team members and I have been a part of the growth of Baltimore Crossroads and have taken pride in the expansion within the Greenlee community. We work for a company that recognizes dedication and perseverance, and despite the challenges we were presented with, Bazuto supported us in our mission to stabilize the Berkeley. Hi everyone, it's Sarah from Monarch and Gambles, Maryland. As Lisa of the Year nominees, we were asked what nomination means to us, and I just want to say how crazy proud I am of this team. Monarch had a slightly slow beginning, and Kara, Angel, Kosi, Herb, Michael, and Raven really stepped up and knocked it out of the park. They leased this building in 16 months in a worldwide shutdown. We were so thankful to be nominated and up against some truly awesome and special sites. Thanks to Vizzuto and a huge thank you to Julie, Carol, and Kelly, and especially to this amazing team. Hi BMAs, this is Team Woodfall Greens. We wanted to say a quick thank you for the nomination of Lisa of the Year. We started this back in 2018, and despite the odds that were stacked against us, we persevered, and this nomination shows that our hard work and dedication has paid off. We're excited to see what happens in the next year, and we wanted to send another thank you. Go Team Woodfall Greens! That was great. It's amazing to get to hear from so many different Bazudo team members. Thank you again for all your hard work and dedication to our mission. Now, throughout the program, you'll hear more from nominees, and later on in the post show, I'll be talking with a few winners from across the country. But back to our regularly scheduled programming, on to the Sustainability Award. We believe creating sanctuary extends to the world around us which is why Bazudo is committed to constructing and operating high-performance communities that contribute to the sustainability of our shared global community. As a result of this commitment, BMC is a proud five-time Energy Star Partner of the Year and has been recognized three times for sustained excellence. I am delighted to present the Sustainability Award to a community that has gone above and beyond the call of duty in their implementation of impactful sustainability and environmental initiatives that enhance their residents' overall health and wellness. The nominees are. Thirty Dalton. Avalia. Central. Concord, Crystal City. The Dillon. Park Huron. Rhode Island Row. Stone Point. And the winner is Rhode Island Row. Congratulations. It's my pleasure to now introduce Aaron Victorson of the Guarantors. The Guarantors have been a partner for many years and we're thrilled to have them as a partner level sponsor this year. Take it away, Aaron. Hey there, BMAs. Aaron from the Guarantors here was just uh, reflecting on the last in-person BMAs where I actually got this copy of Tom's book. It's been a lot of change since then, but one thing that hasn't changed uh, is that a Bazuto community is still the best place to bring someone home. And we hear that no matter where we are in the country, you know, the Guarantors is ardent in our mission to help people reduce their moving costs and qualify for apartments. And we've been so lucky to have a partnership with you guys to do that. So congratulations on all your wonderful accomplishments the past year. We know there's going to be a bunch more next year of our partnership. And a special congratulations to everybody who's nominated tonight. We're rooting for you. As an international student with like no credit score and no income, I was not able to qualify for any apartment and really struggled to find a place where to live. 
I really wanted to build a product that would help all of these categories of population not having a perfect profile to be able to rent the apartment of their dream. I was working at TF Cornerstone and Julian reached out to me trying to sell me on his new product idea. I was doing a lot of new lease ups. We had a lot of international students, people with thin credit. We were turning away about 40% of the renters. And I felt that a lot of these people could be potentially good renters. When landlords and property managers work with the guarantors, we don't just sell them an insurance policy. We touch their client from the second they walk into the building until the second that they leave the building. Having Bizzuto as our largest client is one of the proudest moments I've had with this business. As we celebrate our individual and collective accomplishments this afternoon, I want to reflect on the difficulties we've endured together over the past year. We've had to say goodbye to beloved members of our Bizzuto family, and we know many of you have endured the heartbreak of losing loved ones. I'd like for us all to pause for a moment and remember those close to our hearts and so many lost this year who will be deeply missed but never forgotten. Thank you for joining us in that moment. Now, as you know, so much behind the scenes work goes on at our communities to keep our residents happy. Our assistant maintenance managers play a special role in this effort. They train new employees, communicate well with residents and team members alike, and consistently complete their responsibilities in an exemplary manner. The nominees for Assistant Manager of the Year Maintenance are Andrew Ariza, One Theater Square Biniam Cabrejiwa, District DeWitt Igualizion, Estrada, Pentagon City Jose Serrano, Flats at Bethesda Avenue. Lucas O'Valley, Hub 50 House. Maykel Castillo, Keoba. Shivan Cherry, 1213 Wall. Before we find out who the winner of our Assistant Manager of the Year Maintenance is, let's hear from our finalists on what this award means to them. What this nomination means for me is that hard work does not go unnoticed. And support of a family outside of your own means everything. The Bazzuto family. One vision, one mission, one Bazzuto. Uh, this nomination means that my hard work does not go unnoticed. It is encouraging for the future to see how I can grow and motivates me to continue. Thank you. This nomination means a lot to me and it feels so great to be recognized by this great company. It also inspires me to learn more and become a good service manager in the future. Thank you. First and foremost, thank you for the nomination. This nomination means a great deal to me because it's the combination of my efforts, patience, hard work, and dedication on top of having a supporting team. I have grown so much with Pazudo and I am very honored to be considered for this nomination. When I heard that I received the nomination for Assistant Maintenance Manager of the Year, I was ecstatic. 
It's true what they say, hard work does pay off. And Michael Castillo, part of the uh, call team here in South Florida, nominee for Assistant Manager of the Year, which is a great honor for me. Hard work and result is what drives our team every day, making our residents life better as much as possible, even in these difficult times. I'm very happy for being part of this amazing family. Gracias, muchas gracias por esta nomination. This nomination means a great deal to me. Uh, it validates the efforts that I put in to get to this point. Um, I feel honored, uh, respected. Um, I feel good about myself, where I'm at, where I came from, where I'm going. And uh, I'd like to thank all the great people that helped me along the way to get to where I'm at. And, you know, the people that still help me to move to the next chapter of my life. Muchas gracias indeed. We are truly grateful for all of your hard work and dedication. It's amazing to hear from some of our nominees today. But we do have a winner to announce. And the winner of the Assistant Manager of the Year Maintenance is Biniam Cabrehiwat, District. Congratulations, Biniam. Now, I'd like to welcome Stephanie Williams back for our next award. Congratulations, Biniam. Thank you, Chad. We'll check back in with you after the program for our post show when we will be chatting with winners from across the country. Make sure you stay on after the credits when the awards part of the program concludes. Our next award for the afternoon is Assistant Property Manager of the Year. The following assistant property managers have proven to be essential in keeping their communities running smoothly. These team members help to keep our communities in order, lead properties in their manager's absence, oversee rent collection, and help train, grow, and develop our teams. The nominees for assistant property manager of the year are Christine Lowry, The Kelvin. Jennifer Williams, The Maxwell. Jessica Moore, Metro Point. Kyle Kuntz, AO Santa Monica. Paige Curry, One Greenway. Selena Gallagher, Canvas Valley Forge. Tom Egan, Harlow. Verana, Cabbage Stalk, The Metropolitan. Before we announce our winner, let's hear from our nominees about what this award means to them. Property Manager of the Year nomination truly means so much to me. I think that we can all agree that 2020 and 2021 was filled with its fair share of challenges and that sense of uncertainty, but ultimately the rewards really outweighed that and made it all worth it. We all share this common goal of creating sanctuary for our residents and I think especially opening a lease up building in the middle of the pandemic that has been so crucial. So despite the challenges and the hard times, the extra hours that we worked, seeing residents come home and being so happy or just thanking you for everything that you've done for them, creating that sense of community within your building has really made it so rewarding and truly I couldn't have done it without my team and my mentors. Um, so I thank them each and every day and thank them for this nomination as well. Being nominated for this award is such an honor and I'm very grateful to be in the running for Assistant Property Manager of the Year. This award means to me that I've been someone that my peers and supervisors have been able to rely on, which is really important to me. It is a privilege to be considered for this award and it means a lot to me as a member of the Pizzuto family. The nomination for Assistant Manager of the Year um, is a very exciting surprise to me. I do work very hard and to be recognized for that is a really big honor. I definitely would not be where I am today without the love and support of every single person on the Upton team. 
several of us have moved on within Basuto to greater roles and I think that that's a true testament to the outstanding group of people that we have together. It means so much to be recognized alongside these outstanding nominees for Assistant Property Manager of the Year. After this uniquely challenging year, I know how much all the Assistant Managers at Basuto deserve recognition. As Assistant Property Managers, we support our leasing, concierge, service teams, and property managers, all the while providing resident sanctuary and extraordinary service. Hello, my name's Paige and I work at the Tower at One Greenway in Boston, Massachusetts. I'm truly honored to be nominated for this year's Assistant Property Manager of the Year. This nomination means so much to myself and to my team because it proves that hard work pays off. This past year, I had to take over the role of property manager while my boss, Sarah, was out on maternity leave. Um, in order to do the APM role and the PM role at once, it was super challenging, but very rewarding as I was able to learn so much information about the role as I could uh, in a short period of time. So I'm super thrilled that the hard work paid off and I am just very appreciative of the nomination. It's a privilege just to come into work every day with such a wonderful and hardworking team. Everyone is so dedicated to creating sanctuary for all of our Harlow residents, as well as learning and growing throughout the process. Thank you so much for the nomination this year. It truly uh, means the world to me. I'm super grateful just to be nominated. This nomination is not just for me, it is for the rest of the Harlow team, as we're all in this together to create Harlow the best it can be for all of our residents. Thank you. I am so honored for this nomination. This nomination personally means to me that Rizzuto understands individuals' creativity, concern, and compassion for themselves, for the team, and for residents. I am so happy that my hard work has not been unnoticed and that I'm with a company that I can be my 100% authentic self. And the winner is Tom Egan Harlow. Congratulations. Hello to my Bazudo colleagues. I am honored to be presenting this award for the second year in a row. As you may know, I've been the executive sponsor of Rise by Bazudo, our corp corporate social responsibility program, for several years now. Under this award-winning program, I get to see the incredible effort that you all make to support your local communities and each other. And I'll tell you, I am always left inspired and motivated. I see such kindness and genuine concern in everyone who participates in a RISE affiliated volunteer outing, food drive, fundraiser, and more. Formally referred to as a Community Service Award, this year the RISE for Social Impact Award recognizes individuals that take the initiative to create positive change, making an impact on the lives of people in the surrounding community. They've made it their goal to help others overcome obstacles to build stronger, healthier, safer communities. And the nominees are. Hannah Hastings, Alto 57. Kelsey Sove, The Beacon Clarity. Kimberly Ely, West Broad. Kyle Kuntz, AO Santa Monica. P. Medina, 360 State Street. The winner of this award has been dedicated to the Rise by Bazuto Community Champion Program from the start. She is one of our original members, is actively involved in RISE campaigns, and takes the initiative to lead her own regional opportunities, including hosting multiple school supply and food drives and coordinating volunteer outings at Capital Area Food Bank. The winner of the RISE for Social Impact Award is Kelsey Sauve, the Beacon Clarendon. <music> Do 
Julie, thank you so much for presenting our Rise for Social Impact Award and for joining us here in studio again. I know I speak for so many of us in saying how grateful we are for the guidance and mentorship you've provided each one of us over the many incredible years of service. Let's hear from our final partner level sponsor, the Minkoff Company, who has worked with Bizzuto for over 30 years and is one of our strongest supporters. We are extremely grateful for their long-standing relationship and dedication to Bizzuto. Let's hear from Greg. Minkoff is proud to support this year's BMAs as a partner sponsor, but our dedication to Bizzuto far surpasses tonight's program. Minkoff has been fortunate to be able to provide restoration services to Bizzuto since the company's inception in 1988. Over these 33 years, we have watched Bizzuto grow and develop as a company. Although your footprint has grown and the number of properties managed has grown as well, the level of service the Bizzuto team provides as managers and engineers has remained world-class in our view. We have helped you at properties here in our home market. We have also been called on to assist at properties from Pennsylvania to Richmond, Virginia. We're proud to get those calls as they are a testament to the trust you have placed in us for many years. We work with many different apartment management companies and see a range of management styles and quality. The level of investment and care that the Bizzuto team exhibits makes our job as a disaster restoration contractor much, much easier. We are proud to be a part of your special night where you recognize and honor your incredible people. Congratulations to all the 2021 nominees and winners. We look forward to helping you all for years to come and appreciate being able to join you for this year's BMAs. Thank you so much to the Minkoff Company for your continued support. And now I'm pleased to introduce yet another friend. I have a lot of friends. Bizzuto Vice Chairman and Co-Founder Rick Mostyn. Thank you, Stephanie. It's my honor to be here to recognize our Club Zero nominees and the winner. Members of this exclusive club have a few essential things in common. They're on top of things, proactive, and effectively work with the residents on their obligations, even when life is unpredictable, as it has been in this past year. And the nominees are... 777. Bennett Park. Canvas Valley Forge. Claiborne Apartments. The Haven at Atwater Village. In Strata, Pentagon City. The Isle. Lake House. Park and Garden. Regents Park. And the winner is 777. Congratulations. Thanks, Rick, and congratulations, 777. Throughout my career, I've been fortunate to work for and alongside incredible leaders. In fact, now, if I may, I'd like to pause and thank my senior executive team, our beloved managing directors, Chad Cooley, Nancy Goldsmith, Joe Lynn Scotch, and Heather Wallace, and senior vice presidents, Carrie Pfeiffer, Stephanie Rath, Joe Gavigan, 
Lucretia Coma, Pepe Marabella, Julie Thompson, David Curcio, and Amy McDuno for their extraordinary leadership. We've spent a lot of time together this past year and a half. Their mission is to deliver sanctuary to you, to ensure family is indeed serving family, and they do this better than anyone I've known. I am proud of your every effort, and I'm sincerely thankful for your partnership. We have a culture of cultivating, cultivating exceptional leaders. Leaders can make a tremendous impact on the professional growth of those in their charge, whether it's through training, coaching, mentoring, or supporting their ideas and efforts. The Developing Future Bazudo Leaders Award celebrates the leaders in the field who have proven to be our most impactful teachers and mentors. And the nominees are... Alex Pearson, Willow Grove Apartment Homes. Bob Deal, Alta, Chesapeake Ridge. Brian Dene, 42 Broad. Kevin Young, Monroe Street Market. Max Mejia, Vida. Victor Argonal, Sedona Sleet. Wayland Story, Kaoba. According to his team, the winner of this award is the first one to raise his hand to offer assistance. He's regarded as a true leader among the South Florida team, SoFlo, having mentored many team members in the area. He's been helping with the unit punch and acceptance process at an upcoming lease-up property, in addition to working at his current property. He's polite, respectful, never complains, and his motto has always been, consider it done. His colleagues feel blessed to have him on their team, and they believe they're better because of him. The winner is Waylon Story, Kaioba. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations again, Waylon. I'd now like to introduce our next nominees and winner of the Developing Future Leaders Award. In the last 18 months, the winner of the Developing Future Leaders Award promoted seven team members, with three more ready to grow. These promotions range from part-time concierge to property manager. According to her colleagues, this individual's ability to successfully train her team to master their current role and position them for growth is exceptional. This, along with her unique cross-training approach, has proven critical to the success of her team. Always willing to send her team to help where needed, thereby gaining exposure to sister communities, is yet another reason why her team is constantly ready to be promoted. And the nominees are... Alyssa Barron, Curb. Amy Bodock, The Cooper. Crystal Ceiling, Azure, Oxford Square. Crystal Stroman, Esplanade at National Harbor. Greg Sheets, Monroe Street Market. Katie Linder, Signature. Nicole Lafave. Park and Garden. Susan Brennan, 360 State Street. And the winner is Katie Linder, Signature. I'd like to take a moment to thank our titanium sponsors for this year's BMAs. Thank you to Able Engineering, Castle, and Yardi. Today would not be possible without your commitment and support. Let's take a moment to hear from them now.
our next guest has been with us since the beginning. In fact, his name is on the door. This year, he and his lovely wife were inducted into the Baltimore Suns Business and Civic Hall of Fame for their exceptional dedication to the Baltimore community. I know we all feel fortunate to be a part of his incredible legacy. Please join me in welcoming back chairman and co-founder, Tom Bizzuto. It's my honor to be presenting the award for Service Manager of the Year to a truly exceptional member of our team. As you know, a lot of behind the scenes work goes into making our communities places to call home, true sanctuaries. At every one of our properties, there are dedicated maintenance teams and service managers working tirelessly to deliver the extraordinary experiences for which this company is known. These teams and their managers know the value of the small detail. They know these details make a big impact. They know that by focusing on them, we are making someone's day a little brighter. As our maintenance teams have heard me say before, I believe it very important that our residents know not only can we fix things, but also that we care about them as people. We have empathy. This empathy, this care, this concern is what keeps people staying at our communities and helps our team members feel fulfilled with their work. Each of the nominees for this award have shown their commitment to our values by continually providing exceptional service, impeccable attention to the smallest of details, and true empathy for our residents. This year's nominees for Service Manager of the Year are Before Tom tells us who the winner of Service Manager of the Year is, let's hear from all of our nominees on the importance of today's nomination. Hi, this is Anwar Grama. Thank you for nominating me. This means a lot to me, and I owe it to my maintenance team, the office, and everyone at Regent Spark. Thank you very much. Hello, my fellow Zutans. We all have so much and a great reason to celebrate because of our commitment and individual unique way of contributing to this great company, Bazuro, today. It feels so great to be a nominee, gotta be honest. But to be fair, it's a collective team effort and we have every reason to celebrate together. I want to thank my mentor, Emmanuel, my brother, Iyab, and the numerous great friends I do have at Brazil. We should not forget also about my wonderful family I have at Flat 130, the past and the new team members. Hey, this is Damian Cunningham here at West Broad, our service manager. Uh, thank you so much for the nomination. I think it's a wonderful, wonderful thing that Pizzuto recognizes hard work. I want to thank my team, as well as the regional staff that supports us. Uh, the nomination means a lot to me. I did win this award with another company, but it does not compare to winning it um, with Pizzuto. So thank you so much for the support. Hi, Pizzuto family. This is Erwin from Sunny Boca Raton, Florida. This nomination means the world to me. It means a lot because of the hard work that my team and I have for him. Special thanks to our regional team. Without you guys, I couldn't do what I did. Just want to start 
by saying it's an honor to be nominated uh, for Service Manager of the Year. Um, I've had the liberty this year to work with several different service managers from Connecticut to California um, and watching how hard they work and their dedication. It's a good su surprise uh, that I was nominated, but I am grateful. Um, but I do want to say this is not a personal nomination for me. This is definitely a Team Corsair nomination. Thank you for this recognition. It is important that I highlight it. it. This would not be possible without my amazing team. We strongly believe and apply the Buzuro core value in everything we do. Concern, creativity, passion, and perfection. Thank you for Arbor at Random Buzuro. What does being nominated for Service Manager of the Year mean to me? Well, this is my second year in a row being nominated but it's extra special this year because we're also nominated for Suburban Property of the Year. I am just one person in a great team. We all have the same vision and work hard in creating sanctuary for our residents. And we all take pride in our community. Although it's not necessary, I appreciate the nomination on behalf of my team and I. Thank you. Such outstanding videos. Take it away, Tom. I am proud to announce that our Service Manager of the Year is Tom Dente, Sterling Park at Hanover. Congratulations, Tom. I'd now like to introduce a colleague and friend who has been with Bizzuto for more than 20 years. Working alongside Toby and Julie, he keeps us focused on maintaining culture and executing on our goals. It's my pleasure to present to you, Mike Schlegel. There are many winners here tonight. Whether you've been nominated or won the category, you have all done an exceptional job through these unprecedented times. I wanna take a moment to acknowledge a group of folks that are indeed among our unsung heroes the regional leaders of BMC. Thank you for carrying a heavy torch through a global pandemic, all while displaying resiliency in every way. From taking care of our associates to ensuring our ownership groups are well informed about their businesses, you have built trust that is foundational to the Bizzuto brand. Please join me in taking a moment to recognize and thank your regional leader for all that they do. Thank you, Mike, and thank you, regional team. Hands down, you are the best in the business. I have been deeply moved by your rigor and your strength. You have held us down, and I could not be more grateful. Before we head into our final awards of the show, I want to start and take a moment to thank our, platner, our platinum sponsors, Sherwin-Williams, Conservice, and RentPath. We appreciate you. People experience Sherwin-Williams in many ways, from our paint stores to our iconic projects around the world. But to uncover the meaning behind what we do, you have to look beyond the labels. We don't just make great products. We serve home builders, contractors, property owners, and manufacturers, big and small. We provide our customers innovative solutions to ensure their success, no matter where they work or what surfaces they're coating. There's green, then there's Bazudo Green. You have provided healthy and sustainable homes and sanctuaries. You have strengthened struggling communities across the globe, and you have made the world a greener and better place. For that, we thank you. It is an honor to work with you and provide your teams with the utility data they need to achieve their ESG goals. And we are thrilled to further empower you with our new sustainability solutions.
thank you again to all of our very generous sponsors for your support this year. Today would have not been possible without you. Now, please welcome back Chief Executive Officer and President Toby Bizzuto for the presentation of the Property Manager of the Year Award. I am honored to present the Property Manager of the Year Award. Each of these nominees is knowledgeable and leads accomplished teams that in turn deliver truly exceptional results. These individuals are valued and respected by their residents, peers, clients, and supervisors for their expertise and methodology. They infuse a sense of home into their communities. And the nominees are Aaron Kramer, The Harlow, Brian Belsky, Rhode Island Row, Stella, Brian Roach, Cathedral Commons, Samanda Wheeler, 4040 Wilson, The View at Liberty Center, Jason Bernstein, Kaoba, Kelly Ember, The Capital, Christy DeLauter, Ansel, The Upton, Lauren Schramka, 777. Our winner for Property Manager of the Year is an exceptional team member and contributor to our mission. And the winner is Lauren Schramka, 777. Congratulations to Lauren Schramka at 777. Before we move into the highly anticipated Property of the Year Awards, I want to share what the nominees of the Property Manager of the Year Awards said about being nominated for this prestigious award. This nomination really means a lot to me, and I really want to thank Bizzuto for recognizing all the hard work that we've done at the Harlow this year. Being nominated for Property Manager of the Year is really validation that we have an amazing team in place that allows me to focus on the big picture. Each team member shares in our mission and owns their role. My team really allows me to have the time to look at things through a wider lens and lead because they are all so competent and proactive in their own positions. I feel very lucky to have such an amazing team surrounding me. This nomination simply would not be possible without all of their efforts to our common goal every day. Being nominated for this award is such an honor. Bizzuto is comprised of so many amazing managers, properties, and leaders, and feels so lucky to be named alongside of them. It's not only rewarding to work for a company that values my passion, but I feel so lucky to be recognized for my work in improving the lives of our residents. While this might be considered an individual award, this nomination really belongs to my teams at Stella and Rhode Island Row, both of which motivate me every day by showing up and having that same concern for the comfort and well-being of our residents and their homes. Thank you again for this honor. This nomination means a lot to me because it showcases my professional development, but also the people that helped me get there along the way. Um, between my managers, both past and present, and my teams that have helped support me over the years, there's no way that this would have been possible without any of them. So thank you. Hi, I'm so excited to be amongst the top performers in, in the nominations for Property Manager of the Year. We've all undergone such a tough year during COVID, and all of our teams have worked so hard to meet the benchmarks and the property goals that we've had over the last 18 months. And to be amongst the top performers with my colleagues, it's such an honor. Bizzuto as a whole has been so supportive, and I could not have done and met my successes the way I had without everyone surrounding me, including the leadership, SAG teams, as well as the site teams. Thank you so much. Just wanted to say this nomination means a lot to me. Uh, my values as well as Bizzuto values are aligned, and I think that that really shows in what we've dealt with in the last year with the pandemic and how we've been able to motivate each other as a team, especially here at my property. Everything from first impressions to lasting impressions and dealing with um, a lot of what the pandemic has brought to managing a property has been a curveball in the industry. And the support of senior management here in South Florida, as well as my entire team have really contributed. 
I've been with Bazito for eight years, so it means a lot to have my work recognized. You know, it's been a tough year for everyone and the tri-state area was hit really hard in particular during the pandemic and everyone just rallied together without hesitation to help each other. Um, you know, I, it's such a huge achievement to be nominated and I certainly wouldn't be here without the support of my on-site team and also just all of my colleagues in the New York, New Jersey market. So thank you and um, yeah, go Bazito. <laughs> I'm truly honored to be nominated for Property Manager of the Year. To me, this nomination means that my team and I have successfully created sanctuary for our residents. Thank you to my Ansel team and my Upton team for doing the hard work that they do every day. They are truly amazing. And thank you to my leaders and mentors for teaching me along the way. I love my Bazito family. I'm honored to be nominated as Property Manager of the Year. This nomination means so much to me to be recognized for my hard work, my team's hard work at 777. Thank you so much to Bizzuto and our ownership groups for making such a great community in Milwaukee. This year, we selected two winners of the Property of the Year Award. One, of the, one is Urban Markets and the other for Suburban Markets. As in years past, they were selected based on all around performance across each of our focus categories, which include financial performance, reputation, team development, property maintenance, and exceptional service. And the nominees are Bethesda Hill, Claiborne Apartments. The Metropolitan, Riverside, The Whitmer. This year's Urban Property of the Year Award winner stabilized in March of 2020 and was 40% leased sight unseen within 45 days out of a temporary leasing office. This property has been on the Aura Honor Roll for 13 consecutive months and is known for its exceptional resident offerings, which include curated care packages, virtual and socially distanced events and classes, and the creation of a resident club. And the urban property of the year goes to the Whitmer. This year's Suburban Property of the Year Award winner is admired by their peers and regarded as a resource for fellow Bazuto properties. Even their ownership group relies on them for insights and expertise. This team is dedicated to their property, deeply committed to each and every resident who calls it home, including their pets. They are all standing, they are all standing examples of Bazuto's core values with the sincere service they deliver with heart. And the nominees are Arbors at Arundel Preserve, Millstone at Kingsview, Reading Commons, Sterling Park at Hanover, Willow Grove Apartment Hall. And the winner is Willow Grove Apartment Homes. And just like that, that's a wrap on our 2021 BMA program. But don't go anywhere. We're going right into the post show. Lots of goodies still to come. But first, congratulations to all of our nominees and winners. We are all better people for knowing and working with you. Thank you for everything you do for Bazuto and for your dedication to creating sanctuary. 
I also want to thank all of our internal management and strategic advisory leaders and teams for your constant support throughout the year. You're extraordinarily talented. Your expertise and thoughtful ideas strengthen our brand and extend support to the team members we've gathered to celebrate today, and frankly, many others. I also want to thank my fellow partners for participating in today's program. It's truly an honor to work with each of you to guide this incredible company. And to all of you, thank you for taking the time to celebrate with us today. I encourage each of you to heed Toby's invitation to commit to kindness and equity and to always keep an open mind and heart in an effort to foster a rich sense of belonging for those around us. This includes being kind to yourselves. I hope you and your families remain safe and positioned to prosper. I hope you know how much we value you. You are what makes this company so special, and we're so grateful for all you do. I wish each of you a blessed and healthy year. Be well. Chad Cooley here, coming to you live from our Bazudo set lobby. Wow, come on, that was amazing. Another BMAs is in the book, and we are so proud of all of our nominees and winners from around the country. And this year, we can truly say around the country. It is so exciting to hear about all the hard work and dedication that our teams have to the Bazudo mission. Concern, creativity, passion, positivity, and perfection as a goal in our thoughts, words, and deeds 
you have done that all year long. Now, all throughout our main program, we got to hear from nominees about what a BMA nomination means to them. It was inspiring. And I love hearing the stories of how our teams grow as this company has grown. Now, during tonight's post show, we're gonna spotlight a few winners and chat with them live. So stay tuned. You may get to see a familiar face. You know, earlier tonight, Stephanie referenced our social media mosaic, and we got to take a look at how you're celebrating this year's award show. Now it's my turn to see what I can do. I've been doing my best to keep up with our mosaic, and I'm loving seeing the post come through. Let's take a look at a few now. I'm just gonna pick randomly. So Norell from Park Lane Seaport, Boston, Massachusetts. You know, we asked who empowered or inspired you. Norell's answer was my entire team. The team morale pushes me to work harder and exude positivity. That's awesome. Thank you for sharing. Let's see if we can find another one here. Julie from Flats 130 at Constitution Square. Who empowered or inspired Julie this year? She wrote Max Martinez. So Julie, Max, I hope you're celebrating tonight together. And if not, there'll be some high fives later on. Let's take a look at a couple more. I see a bunch of people in this shot. Ashbridge, submitted by Cindy. What a great picture using our BMA background. And I love that they're ready for a fight. I'm guessing that's for Aura 8. Great picture inspired by her team. And we'll do one more before we move on. Let's, uh, let's pick one from over on this side. Joe, with another one of our 2021 BMA backdrops, showing off his popcorn and his noisemakers and balloons. Hopefully, you all have been enjoying those as well. We'll be checking in with this board throughout the evening. So I want to encourage you to keep sharing your photos and videos we want to see how you're celebrating this year, whether you're at home or your property or your office. Be sure to use the QR code on the screen to take you to our interactive photo booth or share your photos on Instagram with the hashtags hashtag BazutoBMA2021 and hashtag BazutoProud. It is now time for our first winner interview. Joining me tonight, is Isha George, our 2021 Concierge of the Year from Park Lane Seaport. Isha, congratulations again. How are you feeling? Completely overwhelmed and so excited. Thank you. Well, if I understood correctly from your earlier uh, video, you have a slightly older than one year old daughter cheering you on at home as well? Yes, yes, sir. In fact, she's 15 months as of tomorrow. That's awesome. Congratulations on that. What a banner, 15 months for you. So tell me, who are you yes, celebrating sir. with tonight? Tonight, I'm currently representing uh, the Sudbury property in Boston, <laughs> but formerly Park Lane. <clears throat> That's awesome. And are you alone or are you celebrating with coworkers and friends? I'm in another room, but they're close by. <laughs> That's smart. Keeping socially distanced. I like that. Well, it's hard to socially distance when I'm sure everybody wants to high five and hug right now. Thank you for joining yeah. us and enjoy celebrating, Isha. Great job. You know, for the second year, we're coming to you live from a production studio in downtown Washington, DC. I know I gave you a tour of the space last year, but in case anybody needs a refresher, I thought it would be cool to do it again. You might remember the social sidebar from last year. This year, my main space is our Bazuto lobby. As you saw during the main show, we have quite a few spaces tonight and some of them may look familiar to you. So why don't we take a walk through the sets and see what we find. Hello again. Well, hello, Stephanie Williams. Hi. Fresh off of hosting, how are you? I am. I'm feeling energized and excited and 
proud of the outstanding team members that we have. I share that enthusiasm and pride. I don't know if you got to see, I got to interact a little bit with our social media board. I saw that. I saw your interview with Isha. So exciting. One thing I did notice on the board when I was over there, there are several pictures of you with the teams as you visited sites oh, yeah. throughout the pandemic. Um, there are no pictures of me. That might be by design. It could be by could design. Could be by design. <laughs> but I made sure that I had my phone here with me. So let's take a selfie. Let's take a selfie that will ensure that I at least get okay, one. Okay, make sure it's a good angle. Up. Check up, up, up. Right. Yes. There we go. All right. I will make sure to get that on the screen later. Okay. So Stephanie, let me ask you one question. Sure. What's your favorite part of this evening? Oh gosh, that's so hard. Um, I frankly love every moment of the VMAs. It's maybe the second day to Christmas uh, for me throughout the year. But, you know, it was super special and meaningful to hear from the nominees on what their awards meant to them. Yeah, that was a special part. And second day to Christmas, that's high praise. Yeah, yeah. Well, this one, you know, so touching. I got a little weepy, and we spent a lot of hours on this face. So, <laughs> well. Thanks again for hosting and sharing. Of course, it Have is a, my pleasure. I wish you all a wonderful evening. And again, congratulations to everyone. Thank you, Stephanie. Of course. Have fun. Thanks. You know, thinking about what was most special to me thus far this evening, I've got to be honest, it's not this evening. In many ways, it's the nine months leading up to this evening. It's the hand-in-hand -hand collaboration and working with R.J. White, with Windows Catering, with our marketing team, our communication team, our accounting team, our IT team, our learning and leadership team, and so many others who have made this evening what it is, which is pretty special. So thank you to all of them. Now. Earlier this week, your team should have received a celebration box in the mail. These boxes are full of little surprises for tonight, including some BMA swag and some social media props. I've got mine right here, and I even had a chance to whip up a BMA Rita before post-show began. So join me in a toast to you, to hard work. I think I did it right. You know, I also want to take a peek in here and share with you my favorite treat. You know, Windows Catering had a lot of fun developing this box and putting all sorts of goodies in. Um, I'm a cookie fanatic. And so the sugar cookie with the Bizzuto logo on it, that's tops for me. Thank you, Windows Catering. You outdid yourself. So why don't we take a look at the mosaic and let me see if I can find some celebration boxes in your posts. Well, that is definitely a celebration by Taylor, submitted for Corsair 360 State and Audubon New Haven, our Connecticut team. Who inspired them this year? Dion Smith. And having had the opportunity to work with Dion, I totally understand that. Let's see if we can find a couple others. I see some bazooka clappers and noisemakers. This was submitted by Danielle from One Greenway, who inspired Danielle, the entire Greenway team. And hopefully you guys are making a lot of noise with some of those fun accessories that were sent your way. Let's take a look at one more. Let me see if I can find Another, you know what? I'm going to select this one just because the enthusiasm from Miss Kelly Shannon comes through so well in that picture. And she has been inspired by Stephanie Williams and Julie Smith. Haven't we all? Our second guest of the evening is ready. So please help me welcome Biniam Gabrehiwat, our Assistant Maintenance Manager of the Year. Congratulations, Biniam. What an exciting day it has been. You know, we got to hear during the main show what the nomination meant to you. How does it feel to be the winner? Uh, thank you, Forrest. Uh, it's a uh, thank you for everyone. 
this nomina- this uh, nomination for me it's a, a big privilege uh, i'm happy that's awesome that's awesome so tell me what do you like about working at bazudo it's a good place uh, uh, to to work in the bazudo it's a, a diversity the culture everything is awesome is there anyone in particular, Binium, who perhaps inspires you as you do your job? Yes, uh, all of them, my team, you know, they inspired me. I can understand that. And one last question for you. Do you have a favorite Bazudo memory? Say that again. Do you have a favorite Bazudo memory so far? Uh, Yes, you know, this, this is, you know, my nomination, a <laughs> big moment for me. <laughs> I can understand that. I have a favorite memory of you now. I want you to know I've been practicing your name so much that my children know your name at home now. So you are now part of our family as well, Biniam. Thank you so Thank much you. for chatting with me and congratulations on your award. Thank you very much. You know, Even in a virtual format, the BMAs are quite a production. There are so many people behind the scenes who make this show possible, helping with everything from the celebration boxes, scripting, to the outreach and nomination process, and more. We truly could not do it without these people you see on the screen right now. So thank you all for your time and dedication. Now, next up on our post show, we have the Assistant Property Manager of the Year, Tom Egan, who's joining us via Zoom. Tom, how are you, sir? How's it going? I'm good. How are you? I am doing great. Thank you. Congratulations on your win tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Super exciting. I bet. I bet it is. Let me ask you a couple questions. What do you value most in the workplace? I definitely would say my uh, coming to work every day is um, probably with my, my, my colleagues, you know, like without them, like we're all together every day more than my, our own families. So without them, you know, work wouldn't be the same. So I definitely enjoy like a positive, happy workplace. It is truly family serving family. So you won the award this year. What's one goal you have for next year? Great question. I was just thinking that myself, actually. So I guess I got to... Um, set a new one. So I guess maybe something with property manager or something like that. I'm not sure yet. <laughs> I like that goal. I think that's a, a good starting place. One last question for you, Tom. What's one piece of advice that you would give to someone who's just starting to work at Bazudo? I missed you at the end. I'm sorry. So what is one piece of advice that you'd give to someone who's just starting to work at Bazudo? Definitely. So I would say, you know, don't be afraid to ask questions and, you know, learn from your peers. Like they've all been in your shoes at one point in time and everyone is always more than happy to help with anything you need. So don't be afraid to, you know, ask anything, you ask, ask questions. <laughs> like they're here to help you and grow and learn as, as you do. So that's, that's what I would say. That's a great advice, Tom. I've been with the company 25 years. I still ask questions every day. So congratulations on your well-deserved BMA. Have a great night celebrating. Thank you. So as you heard in the main show, we have an eighth aura campaign to announce today. We are always so impressed with the creativity demonstrated through your ideas and theme submissions every year. So thank you to all who submitted ideas. And this year we got more than ever before. This year I also had the pleasure of sitting down with the mastermind behind the winning idea to ask where his inspiration came from. Let's watch our conversation. Now, I'm excited to introduce an exceptionally creative and talented individual. Please welcome Senior Director of BMC Marketing, Noel Carson. So what brings you here, Noel? I mean, we're used to seeing you in brand strategy meetings for our newest development deals. Speaking of which, Chevy Chase Lake is exceptional. Thank you so much, Chad. There's definitely no shores of inspiration on that project. I'm really excited to see the finished result. 
but I'm here today to unveil the new campaign for Aura for the number one property management company of the year for the eighth year in a row. Eighth year, excellent. You know, we always marvel at how many creative campaign ideas we receive from around the company. I think this year we received over 100. But out of all of those great ideas, the winning one came from you. Congratulations. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Absolutely. It was a fun creative exercise to think of a theme that incorporates the number of years we've been doing an aura campaign. That's right. I remember three Pete and we had Take Five, Sweet Six Team, and of course our latest Mission 007. So tell us what you came up with for our eighth year. At Bazudo, we're really keen on delivering an extraordinary customer experience, almost to the point where it's innate and it's an expected part of how we operate and it's really our key differentiator. It's why our residents hopefully look to us to find a new home. Almost so, you could say it's in our DN8. DN8, well done. And you're absolutely right. Keeping up our reputation is just part of how we do things. I like it. Well, our on-site team was really inspired the ideas because they're continuously delivering on our mission to create sanctuary, and it comes so naturally to them. And that's why I came up with this year's winning theme. Well, everyone, you heard it here first. It's in our DN8. So stay tuned for more communications about a fun fall contest. And thank you, Noel, for your creative and thoughtful winning theme. Thanks for having me, too. And I want you to get a peek at the DN8 logo. Uh, it will be coming to you shortly. There you go, the DN8 logo. The promise of sanctuary, it's in our DN8. Looking forward to the fall contest. And I've been looking forward to interviewing our last guest for tonight, Ms. Lauren Shramka, the property manager of the year. Welcome, Lauren. Hi, Dad. Hi. <laughs> ah, it's good to see some, uh, some cheerleaders behind you. Lauren, tell us a little <laughs> bit about your Bazudo journey. Um, my Bazudo journey started in Milwaukee at 777, and I am still here. <laughs> you know, I get to interact with you a lot through the Site Sentiment Task Force, and you always bring incredible ideas. Tell me a little bit about the people behind you and perhaps where some of those ideas come from. The people behind me um, make every day possible. Um, we all work together to get through the challenges, especially all the challenges of last year that no one had experienced before. Um, but we work together also on the site sentiment team to just bounce ideas off each other and find the best way to manage all of our new experiences. But my team behind me helps with everything every day. Well, there are a lot of balls to keep up in the air as a property manager. What do you do to de-stress, how do you get rid of all of that heaviness that sometimes we carry throughout the day? That is a hard question. <laughs> um, <laughs> I have a little dog named Tom. I like to take walks on the lake in Milwaukee. Um, I like to hang out with these friends behind me outside of the building, um, but to find ways to have fun and just, leave the building sometimes. <laughs> Absolutely, it, it is a, a dog, a good dog and good friends do a lot to help with stress. I've got one last question for you. Tell us a little bit about a day in the life of now an award-winning property manager. Yeah, these are hard. <laughs> um, you know, just coming to work and putting your best foot forward every day, um, representing, you know, a great building, a great ownership group. I've got some Northwestern Mutual people here celebrating with us today off camera in this very room. Um, but it's just nice to come represent a great team and a great city um, in Milwaukee. Well, clearly, Lauren, you are a great leader as well. I'm happy to see everybody safely celebrating. Go back to the party and your friends and family and enjoy. Congratulations. Thanks, Chad. That was awesome. I loved hearing the cheering in the background. Um, while 
we're about to wrap up. I'd like to invite two other people to just join me on stage. They aren't mic'd. I can't interact with them the way I normally would want to, but I do want them to be visually recognized. Um, Ms. Kate Skojak and Mr. Stephen Fretwell, these two individuals within our organization have mastered the art of creating and bringing you the BMAs. Without them, well, it simply wouldn't happen. So from myself, from Stephanie, and from all of the people out there, we thank you because you did all of this while doing your regular job as well. You know, every day, but especially today, I'm reminded how much I miss being around you, but also how extraordinary each of you are. I am so glad that we took some time to celebrate your impeccable work over the past year and that I got the honor of speaking with so many distinguished guests. Thank you all for tuning in and for posting your celebrations on social media. Keep those posts coming. This night is yours to celebrate and we are delighted to share in this joyous occasion over social media. Stay safe, stay healthy, and have a wonderful evening.